All right, Mike Vest with Illinois Mammon with the uh, state championship dual team coach, Pete Albert. Coach, congratulations. Thank you very much, Mike. Thank you. Let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, the beginning of the season up until this point. Guys started off with the season with a loss to Harvard, and then from there you went on a roll. Your next loss was your second loss of the season was against the team you against just Mercer. beat. That's correct. It was against Mercer. And, uh, you know, we had a few kids that were out, but uh, I'll tell you what, like I was telling the reporter over there, I think after the Dvorak is when these guys really came together, and they came together at Princeton. And, and I think after that they really started seeing – they gelled together, they started seeing a prize that they could get to, and they, they set their mind on it, and that, that's, that's really what happened. Last time you guys met, it was 36-30 to 30 in their favor. Yep. What were some of the different kind of matchups that we saw tonight compared to the last time? I think the matchups were pretty much the same, actually. It just we didn't have our 13-pounder. We didn't have Josh down to 20, so that made a difference there. Nathan coming through at the end was really big, and, and you know, I was worried about our 38-pound match. We had to wrestle him. That was the fourth time we had to wrestle him. Our 45-pound match was always close. But everything went the way we planned, and, and there you have it, you know. But uh, that, the big kids did just what they needed to do and didn't give up too many points. Our 52-pounder didn't give up the fall. Our, our 60 didn't either. Yeah, coming down to that, uh, the last couple of matches there was getting a little tight. What, what did you tell your, your wrestler there at the end that had to get the, the victory to secure the match? compared to giving up a pin for the loss or a tech fall for the tie? Well, I knew that, you know, he could make a mistake. He's a freshman, he could make a mistake, but he had had a tough run the last two ones. I mean, he, he was just battling, a, a, he lost the last two matches, but I knew he's a hard-nosed kid, and he wasn't going to go out there thinking, all I got to do is not get stuck. He's, he's that type of kid that's going to go out there, I'm going to win this match. And that's exactly what he did, he was determined, and that was it. And that's what I told him, I said, just go out there and wrestle like you usually wrestle. You're going to get after him, get it done. Okay, last time you guys brought home a state championship, 2006, she pretty much had a, a team of all-stars right. from, yeah. from the bottom yeah. to the top. What's different about that team compared to this team? Oh, it's a big difference. Big difference because that team, you were pretty comfortable. You knew you were going to win. This team, we were on the edge all the time. It just, it was, it, it was fun to do this. It's, it, it was a great final, and it just you're always nervous. The whole crowd's nervous. The team just came together. It's, a little bit more exciting. Now you lose two seniors out of the lineup, one in the starting lineup. Yep. What do we look for next year? Well, I, actually, I, I hope these guys realize what next year is all about and that we do some work, some hard work in the off season and be down here again, you know? And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna push ourselves to get a little bit harder lineup, tougher lineup, get into some AA and AAA schools, hopefully, and, and get out there and, and get after it. But in the summer is where we gotta work. And I think these guys realize that now. I think, I think we'll get a lot of participation there. Very good, Coach. Congratulations again. Thank you very much, Mike.